this is the unit three extension work for the honors. So just the one lesson right now, we're gonna work on writing equations of lines and they're either gonna give you two points and you have to write the equation or they might give you the point and a slope. So here's our steps. No matter what they give you, the first thing we're gonna do is find our slope, which is our rate of change, our M. So we're looking for that M. Pick one of the given points. <clears throat> And we're going to substitute the x and y, remembering that it's x and y, hopefully you remember that, into the slope-intercept form equation. So we're going to put y here, and we're going to put x here. We're then going to solve for the y-intercept, which is our b. Write the equation in slope-intercept form um, with the slope that we found and the y-intercept that we found. All right, so let's look at this. So this one is an example where we have two points. So step number one, find slope. So I'm gonna do, and I'll label these for you, x, y, and then x, two, y, two. So I'm actually gonna move this down just a little bit. So I'm gonna do m equals, and I'm gonna take negative four minus six over negative 12 minus eight. That's gonna give me negative 20 over negative, sorry, negative 10 over negative 20, leaving me with one half. So m equals one half. I now have my slope. Next, I'm gonna choose one of my points. <clears throat> So I know my slope now, whoops, I know my slope now, and I'm gonna select this point. I'm only choosing that point because it's all even. You can choose whichever point you want. So we now have M, which is one half, one half um, X plus B. So now I can replace my Y and my X with this eight and six right here. So Y is gonna be six equals one half and then x is gonna be my eight plus b. Now I need to solve for b. I'm gonna do this. My x and y, I used eight, nope. Yeah, eight and six, thought I had those backwards for a minute. And that's what I plugged in there. So then I'm now gonna solve this. So I'm gonna have six equals, half of eight is four plus b. And then to get b alone, I'm gonna subtract four from each side leaving with two equals B. So now I have my B here, I have my M here, and I'm gonna rewrite this. My final equation would be Y equals one half X, and instead of plus B now, I know it's plus two. Sometimes you're lucky and they give you the slope already where on this one we had to find it, so they've already given us our slope and they've given us the point. So it just takes out this one step right here. So now <clears throat> I'm just gonna find my slope. Step one, find my slope. Got it. Step two, I'm gonna choose a point. Well, I don't get to choose mine. They said for X and Y, we need to use six and four. That's what they told us. So I'm gonna replace, so Y equals, I know my slope is two X plus B. And then I'm gonna replace my Y with four and my X with six. So four equals two X, which is two times six plus B. Four equals 12 plus B. And then I need to get B alone, leaving me with negative eight equals B. So I have my negative, I have my M, I have my B, I now can write my equation by substituting those back in. My slope was two, so I have two X, and my plus B is minus eight. All right, you have four to give a try on your own. Remember, find slope, plug in a point, solve for B, that's what you're doing. I'm going to put the answers on here so you can check to see how you did. 
I hope you try them so that you know that you actually understand it. So push pause, try them, and then come back and check.